Okay, playing as black. Just blocking the center. Develop the knight. Develop the bishop. Let's push through and block here. Open up the bishop. Looks okay. Yeah, let's capture. King safety. Smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong. Let's take this pawn off the board. Develop the knight. And attack the bishop. What does he want to do? He wants to castle kingside now, obviously. So normally they bring the bishop back. So that then it opens up the rook on the far flank. Is he still going to do that? Because he, he now wants to castle kingside. So he'll probably be weakening his um, kingside if he does that. He's done that anyway. So we'll attack the queen in the meantime. We'll wait to see if he castles kingside, then we'll take the bishop off the board if it's still there, maybe. Or we might just take it now, but let's see how we go. Uh, knight attacking the knight, let's just get that out there. He's not castled kingside yet. Just waiting for him to do that, but we're giving him things to... Oh, he's attacking the queen. You can simply block that off. Has he got a cheap move going on? His queen's on the other side of the board. His knight can't really come down without being taken, so that's good. Um, grab the knight Okay, and let's push on to his um, bishop his queens on our knight at the moment so he's castle so we'll take the bishop off the board now Could bring the knight back or we could negate the knight altogether or support with the queen No, we're going to ignore the fact of him taking this knight. We've got bigger fish to fry It's not actually taken the knight, so we we'll, might as well bring it back then, seeing as he's not wanting to fall for that tactic. And bring the rook through, attacking the pawn. Trying to find some way in, he's looking very tricky, but now it looks like he's trying to get in front of our king with his queen. It's a gaping hole. So we'll just bring the queen here, just blocking that off. There's many things we could double the rooks up. We'll try and get a power base on this D file. It's looking to disturb the knight. Don't have a problem with that. Just want to move the knight out of the way anyway because it's not really doing anything there. So we've got the queen in front of the king. So do we want to start having moving across up towards the king area? Let's just block this pawn off from attacking the knight. We can grab that and let's bring the knight across. And we do have sides of attacking the C with E pawn. Just bring the knight across so then we can get the rook or the or the queen if we take the C pawn. E pawn, I keep saying C pawn, E pawn. And he's seeing everything, so it looks like we're gonna have to do a bit of jostling here. Uh, potential for attacking the queen with a smaller piece or opening up the square on the E. Trying to put pressure onto his rook on the back so if that's opened up tempo wise i don't know it might just be even let's just grab trying to make space now in front of the king as you can see the knight is in front of the king so now our queen and our rooks have play along that file when needed okay so it's actually moved so the knight oh nice position on c3 but the rook is blocking that way would have been a nice little fork so we could look to move the knight just to exchange the rooks off but he's got a two on one on the e pawn so do we actually bring a rook to support that pawn or do we go for the anyway so basically we're gonna try again to give up this ah, and he's not falling for it we can't get rid of our knight can we okay so he's not got a check on our king but we have a check on his king with our knight taking his queen off the board so he has to do something so we now save our queen slight move order the dangerous knight the knight that we wanted to sacrifice in the early part of the game is the piece that actually saved the game the early sacrifice may not have been a good sacrifice i had an idea about it and but the final sacrifice potential weren't a tree 